Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi, my name is Christina, and welcome to Tales with Tina, and I'm so glad that you have decided to join me for another video. So today's video is going to be a updated um, Christian um, girls um, essentials video. Um, I did want a gift idea for um, Christmas, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I have been loving lately because some of the stuff has been updated. So I wanted to film this video for y'all and give you guys some tips and inspiration and just go through what I use to study my Bible and get into God's Word. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. All right, so guys, I know I look a little weird, this angle, but um, until I get my tripod, we're just gonna have to deal with it. But I am just wearing um, one of my favorite t-shirts. Um, it says a lot can happen in three days. A local person made this for me. So I'm just chilling in that and some black leggings so all right the first essential that i feel like you need is a bible carrier um i got this one off of amazon for i believe this was 24 dollars um the reason that i love this carrier so much is because it is like a slick material so it's waterproof and i feel like this doesn't get as dirty easily because i can just wipe it off I had a Vera Bradley one that was like that quilt material and I feel like it got so um, dirty so so quick and it was I got it off eBay for like 20 bucks and it served its purpose but I really needed something that like I could especially in the winter time um, if it does get dirty just wipe it off and go. And so I found this one. It's kind of like a Vera Bradley print, um, but it's this really pretty bright color floral pattern. And then it has this zipper in the front. And then it has the side zipper, obviously. And then um, it just opens like this. And it has two compartments on the inside that you can put things and then like this knit. And then it has this pen and a highlighter holder. I don't use this um, because I find it's really hard to, um, my highlighters and pens don't like to stain it. So I don't use it. I just use this zipper part, but um, this is the inside of it. It's like this pretty turquoise blue. Um, and I just love this carrier because this is my Bible, which we'll get into in a minute. And it's a pretty big Bible and this holds it and I can still have my journals in here. No problem. So that is my Bible carrier. The next thing I have obviously is this Bible. Um, I have recently really fell in love with journaling Bibles. Um, in 2020, I was, because of like COVID and quarantine, you know, you kind of, churches closed down. And I know that my church I was going to at the time had shut down. And so I was really looking for a way to be able to get into God's word and be able to just like really have that intimacy. And so I had um, purchased a couple of journaling Bibles. Um, I tried the She Reads Truth Bible, um, which I still have it. Um, I just don't use it as much because I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, because I really feel like it contradicts like the King James Version and I don't really like that too well. Um, so I have this My Creative Bible, the King James Version, and it's a journaling and coloring Bible. And I did a video on this Bible, um, reviewing it, and I cannot say enough good things. Um, so 
this is like the journaling page. As you can see, you have plenty of room to journal. And then um, this is one of the pages. This is First Peter and it has the coloring. Um, there's going to be a video coming up on that very soon. But I just love these journaling Bibles. I think they are genius. Um, you know, for somebody who likes to take notes, to doodle, um, to draw, I think this is just perfect. And for that person who maybe can't draw, but they still like to like be creative and color, I recommend this Bible. Um, these run between 30 and $40. I found this one on eBay and the only reason I found it for 25 bucks was because there was no box. And so I would check eBay and because you can get them for cheaper, you know, it might be because they're out of the box, um, or somebody opened it and they just weren't a big fan and you can get it for way cheaper. So that is my hack to get one of these cheaper. Alrighty, the next thing that I believe you obviously need to have are journals. I am a journal freak. I am a journaler. I feel like I retain more information when I write down my notes. And so um, I really like um, these like smaller uh, journals to write in because I can carry them with me. This is the one that like I write sermon notes in and it says pray more worry less Matthew 6 34 and I got this from Hobby Lobby for I got it on clearance for 99 cents but they're right about four dollars and yeah I just love journals um now good gift ones are these leather ones um like this one that says be still and know and it's got like the gold um, paging and then it has Bible verses on the bottom. Um, this was $4.99 at Ross, but you can get these at Walmart for like 10 bucks. And um, I know you can get them at Barnes and Noble as well, but I just love these journals as well. And I love to give them as gifts because I feel like number one you can never have enough journals but number two i mean those are so nice and fancy like people are gonna think like those are high end um but um journaling um purposes they're great i highly recommend them so you definitely need a journal to be able to write down your notes if you're one of those that retains information better that way Alrighty, so I'm going to show y'all my favorite highlighters that I have recently found to highlight my Bible with. These are the Studio Series Bible Highlighters. And they are like this like gel, like crayon, so they're not like your regular highlighters. And I like these because they do not bleed through my pages. Um, I, for the longest time, used regular highlighters. I always swore by them. But then I found this pack at Hobby Lobby for eight, not Hobby Lobby, Barnes and Noble for eight bucks. And I'm gonna tell you, I am never going back to using regular highlighters in my Bible ever again. These are where it's at. Like, they do not bleed through your pages. They are not messy and they don't run. So pay the $8 for a pack of six, I believe, and get these highlighters because they are amazing. And then the next essential you need are definitely some really cute pins. Um, I use these Pilot G2 pins from Walmart and, um, I like these a lot. Um, they're comfy to write with. Um, they are smooth writing. And guys, these are just so cute. Like, I love these little pins. And you can get a pack of these. I believe 10, 10 of them for 9 bucks. And I just think these are really good pens um, to do my journaling with. And 
you got to have cute pins in stationery. I mean, that's just, it's just a given. I mean, so yeah, that is what I physically have to show you. Um, so I'm going to talk about a couple of other um, resources that I use for um, my studying the Bible. The first one is the Bible app. Um, I cannot rave about this app enough because there are tons of devotions on there that you can do. Um, a lot of reading plans if, um, you know, you're wanting to go through the Bible chronologically, they have that. Um, if you're wanting to study a specific book, they have all of the books on there. But I love their devotionals. I think their devotionals are so good for anybody in a time of life, um, whether you're married, you're divorced, you're grieving, you're happy, you're sad. I mean, they've got a devotion for all of those. And so I love the Bible app so, so much. And I, I just cannot rave enough about it. And then the last thing that I like to use is called the Gospel Library um, app. And the reason that I like that is because it has a lot of like resources on there that you can basically like, if you're wanting to like research a certain topic in the Bible, you can look it up on there. Um, there's videos on there for all ages. Um, and then the Bible's on there. And then there's also like other, um, like different study tools on there as well. And so I really recommend that one as well. Um, for people that, um, are also in other religions, um, to download that one as well. But those are my, um, updated Christian girl essentials um, that I believe every Christian girl needs for their quiet time. And so I really hope that you guys found this video informational and I really hope that you guys um, just continue to get into God's word and study it and find the resources that help you. And I hope that you guys have an amazing and blessed day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.